Escape from Fort Bravo was a 1953 Civil War prison camp movie starring William Holden, Eleanor Parker, and John Forsyth. And in this movie, Holden plays this no-nonsense Union captain who's keeping prisoners in line in the middle of this dusty, uncomfortable-looking desert. So they have all these Confederate soldiers. He's keeping them in this prison camp. And what's really interesting about watching this movie, and my three fans might remember this, when I did the review of The Horse Soldiers, it's one of my earliest reviews, that was actually a William Holden movie based during the Civil War time, and it was a much different movie, even though Holden there played an officer in the Union Army. In that film, he was this... I don't know, I guess you'd describe it as a very uh, pacifistic, he was a medical doctor, and he played opposite of John Wayne, you know, and John Wayne's always the tough, rugged guy, and in The Horse Soldiers, William Holden was a much more subdued, much more peaceful person. Well, here in this movie, Escape from Fort Bravo, he is much the opposite. He plays this very diligent militant character who is laying down the law, he's unbending, and he is keeping these guys in their prison. And it's one thing if they try to escape, you know, that he'll go after them. But the other thing is, because they're in the middle of a desert, not only is it possible that they're going to just die of exhaustion and thirst and stuff, but there's also these Mescalero Apache Indians that will potentially attack them as well. So it's basically a prison camp in the middle of nowhere. It's dusty, dry, and dirty, and miserable. And William Holden is laying down the law. So it's business as usual, basically, as the film opens. But then one day, the glamorous Carla Forrester, who's played here by Eleanor Parker, who is a very gorgeous actress who I recall playing the Baroness from The Sound of Music. She's a very has a very glamorous appearance to her. She shows up, and it's under the guise that she's going to be helping with the wedding of a friend. But in actuality, we find out early in the film, she's actually really there to assist in helping free some of these Confederate prisoners, including her love interest, who is also in this prison camp, Confederate Captain Marsh, who is played by John Forsyth. And I vaguely remember him. He has a familiar face. I had to look it up. He was from the uh, soapy 1980s show Dynasty. I never watched it, but I know of him. So he's there. Obviously, he's much younger than his Dynasty days. So she's there to help him and some others escape. But as you can expect, there's a romance that occurs between Eleanor Parker's character and William Holden. And they both fall madly in love with one another. But wouldn't you know it, she turns around and escapes with four of these Confederates. So William Holden figures out what's happened. He goes after him, catches up with them. He finds them. And in, at gunpoint, you know, he's going to bring them back to the camp. And it's at that point where they get pinned down and attacked by these Mescalero Apaches. So basically, William Holden, um, Eleanor Parker, and it was, I think it was about four other Confederate dudes. I lost track. Um, the Forsyth guys there as well. They're pinned down in this ditch. And I actually thought it was a rather clever scene. The Apaches have them pinned, and they use this very clever form of artillery from the hilltop, where what they do is they will release a volley of arrows into this, you know, this place where they're pinned down. And then if somebody gets up and tries to run away, well, then they pick them off with the rifles. So they're using kind of a combination of arrows and rifles. It's actually a really good strategy, and William Holden and his friends are really kind of trapped in this dusty, dirty trench where they basically have to fight and struggle to survive. It's a a very dusty and dirty and hot sequence, you know, with all the dust and smoke. I mean, it really looks uncomfortable. It makes you thirsty watching the film. And it reminded me a way almost of A Treasure of Sierra Madre with Humphrey Bogart. You know, a lot of the just uncomfortableness of being out in the desert. (laughs) But it's a good film. I'll leave you at that point, because that's sort of the grand conclusion, is do they manage to survive this deadly situation? Does William Holden get the prisoners back to the camp? Well, you got to watch the film to find out. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's got plenty of drama and romance and action and adventure, and there's a nice chemistry between William Holden and Eleanor Parker's character, even though she secretly belongs to the other guy, well, I think you know how things will turn out for them.
And one other note is that Richard Anderson of The Six Million Dollar Man also appears briefly in this film. So it's a good one. It's worth checking out.